Hello Capricorn, welcome to a bonus love reading for June 2021. This is going to be a reading all about how your person is thinking or feeling about you. As always, it's a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Capricorn watching. So just take what resonates and applies to your situation and leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, check out my playlist for Capricorn. I'll have it linked in the description box below this video. All right, Spirit, tell me about the person that Capricorn is thinking about or connecting with. What are they thinking or feeling about Capricorn or this connection? What are they thinking or feeling about Capricorn or this connection? Knight of Wands. Okay, so there's desire, passion, motivation, attraction. Yeah, Two of Cups. Wow, this is a very um, hot and heavy... A lot of chemistry. This could be like um, a really quick um, romance or something that moves fast. And then have the Hermit, Virgo energy. Oh, okay. So I heard here, um, some of you that are watching this, you were ghosted. Like they left or they went somewhere else or communication was cut off. We'll see. That's not for everyone. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. What's this about? Why is the Knight of Wands here? Ten of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here? The Lovers. Wow. Gemini energy. I have the Lovers and the Two of Cups. Think about the Knight of Wands, please. Four of Wands. Yeah. So I feel like this, this had a lot of potential. It was really hot and heavy. But I also feel like there was something weighing this down with the Ten of uh, Wands. Tell me about the Two of Cups. Why is the Two of Cups here? Four of Cups, yeah. Something happened here. This was so good. This was a really good connection. And I feel like something happened. Maybe someone was single all of a sudden or um, lost interest or the, the hot and heavy chemistry cooled off. Yeah, I feel like someone left, moved away. Or things just kind of came to a stop here. Some of you felt played. Tell me if this is resonating. Um, others of you, I feel like you're still wondering what happened. Tell me about the hermit. Like maybe this was not really expected or it was over as soon as it started. Something like that. Tell me about the hermit. Six of Cups. Tell me about the Hermit. I feel like a lot of you think about the good times, or there was a lot of good times here between you. Page of Pentacles. I think some of you still believe that this could work. Yeah. I feel like some of you still want to fight for this, or believe that you can work this out or hope that you can work this out maybe there are just too many challenges or the fact that someone moved or left or blocked you or ghosted you or whatever happened between you maybe that's too much of a of a obstacle let's see what are they thinking or feeling about capricorn using my secret moon oracle deck here all of the decks that I use are linked in the description box along with information on my personal readings, my book, my website, all of the good stuff that you want to know is in the description box. I'm ready to commit. You make me happy. I'm working on myself. I desire you. Okay, there's something off about this. I don't know. My energy, the, or not my energy, but the energy that I'm picking up. I'm picturing someone that doesn't, or not picturing, how do I, I don't know how to explain this. Yes, I am picturing, okay. In my mind, I'm picturing someone who doesn't know what they want. It's weird because it's not really like a picture. Anyways, <laughs> let me not get distracted. I see things when I put certain cards down and that's what I'm seeing. Someone that does not 
know what they want, not truly. So whatever they say, it's not that they're being deceptive, they just generally don't know. It could change. You know, one day they feel a certain way, the next day they don't feel that way anymore. I hope I'm making sense. Tell me more about this person's energies, please. This person that Capricorn is dealing with. Tell me more about this person's energies, please. Falling leaves, changes, transition, time, time changes everything, yeah. Something changed in this connection. Yep, and there's a tower. An unexpected event or some sort of tower moment happened here between you and this person. It could have been a separation or like I said, it's like over time things changed. So what is this person's next actions going to be? What is this person's next actions going to be? What is this person's next actions going to be towards Capricorn or this connection? Okay, Eight of Swords. The Emperor, okay. See, these are two opposite energies. Aries energy with the Emperor. What is this person's next actions going to be towards Capricorn or this connection? The King of Wands. So I feel like they want to take some sort of action here. There's desire. There is a, a feeling of wanting to meet something head on, like address something here. Um, but the Eight of Swords is here as well. Let's get down to the bottom of this. Why is the Eight of Swords here? I feel like this is a situation where whatever happened between you and this person, um, I don't think it was your fault, Capricorn. I think you made this person very happy and things were really good with this person. I think this person could be afraid of commitment or afraid of not meeting you at your level, not being good enough. The chariot. Yeah, I'm picturing, it's like this person, they can't help but mess with a good thing. They want certain things, but then when it gets good, they want to like run away at, at the same time. Cancer energy with the chariot. Can I get one more for the eight of swords? Yeah, the lovers. I feel like this is a really strong connection. There's a lot of passion, chemistry here, a lot of desire and, you know, it's like you click. What's with this emperor? But I feel like you're at a different level of this person. Like this is a king of wands energy, I feel, and you're like a queen of pentacles energy. I feel like you're more stable. Tell me about the emperor. Like you could even be this emperor. Three of wands, okay. Ten of cups. Someone's waiting for their happy ending here. Like, is it ever gonna come? Yeah, the world. So I feel like um, you still probably think about the future of you and this person. Um, and I feel like this person thinks about it as well. I think they want to have it all with you or to have something special with you because the connection is so strong. Um, but I also feel like this is someone that can't make up their mind. Two of Pentacles here. They might even want to have their cake and eat it too. Why is the King of Wands here? But I feel like, I don't know, I feel like... Um, this is not a, a, a situation with you specifically. What? What's, like, like you're not the one that causes this. I think this is just like their personality. Maybe they're very flighty or scatterbrained or just scared. Another scale. I'm picturing another scale here. Six of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. Yeah, this is exactly what I'm talking about. 
Tell me more about the six, the king of wands. It's this back and forth energy, the hermit. Yeah, it's almost like this is somebody who they are dealing with something. Some of you could be dealing with a person who has inner child healing they need to do. Or um, maybe they, they're very unbalanced. I feel like this is someone who pictures a successful life, a successful future, successful partnerships. But it never really happens or something gets in the way. And I feel like it's due to their fear. I feel like this is someone who cannot decide. They can't make up their mind. You know, and, 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 I, and I don't think this is someone who's doing it to be an evil person or anything like that. But I feel like they make things impossible because one day they know exactly what they want. They're committed to doing something. And then, you know, I'm ready to commit, you know. And then it's like, oh, I have a lot more work to do. That's what I'm seeing. Uh, unfortunately, I don't really have anything here to tell you in regards to what their next actions are going to be. Because what I see is I see movement. I see waiting. And then I see more waiting. <laughs> so again, I'm getting conflicting energies because I, I don't think, I think this person's in their head a lot. I think they might talk themselves out of things or let fear get in the way of things. And, you know, unfortunately for you, I feel like that keeps you on the waiting end. I don't think it feels very fair to you and um, uh, maybe you're even hoping that after time passes that this person can get their act together and who knows maybe that will happen I do have the world here I have the chariot so I, I, I see someone that potentially could be moving towards a new chapter but again um, I don't know how long that desire will be there for. All right, Capricorn, hopefully this bonus reading made sense. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope it resonated for someone out there. If it did, please let me know in the comments. Um, that way I know I'm not talking to myself. And um, also, I think it also helps me see, you know, what everybody's really dealing with because I think it's different for everyone. Um, if you enjoy the reading, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing. Um, I really appreciate everyone who does that, who continues to check back on the readings. Thank you so much. And I'll hopefully see you in another reading very soon. Take care.